welcome back to Math with Jen. In this video, we are going to be looking at equal shares of objects when you are dividing them into groups of equal amounts. So here I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Thinking about 12, I know that 3 times 4 is 12. I know that 2 times 6 is 12. I know that 6 times 2 is 12. Okay. And I know that 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, I also know that 1 times 12 is 12. Or you can say 12 times 1 is 12. If I wanted to divide these 12 objects into equal groups, I could do three groups of four. Okay, so here's one, two, three groups of four. I could do two groups of six. Right, there's two equal groups of six. I could do six groups of two. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six groups of two. I can do four groups of three. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four groups of three. I could do one group of 12. I could put them all together, right? So one group of 12, or I can do 12 groups of one. So I could just have them all separate. 12 groups of one. So that's going to lead us into division, which is the focus of this video. I do. 12 divided by 3. That's saying I'm taking these 12 objects and I want to divide them into three equal groups. So let me make three equal groups. So there's my three groups and I'm just going to start making sure that I divide them into equal groups. So now I have three groups and in each of those groups is 4. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay, and that relates to the multiplication fact of 4 times 3, which is 12. Okay, so if I know 4 times 3 is 12, then I know that 12 divided by 3 is 4 because multiplication and division go together. So here's three groups of 4, but I also divided that 12 by three groups to give me 4 in each group. If I have 12 divided by 6, Again, these 12 are going to be divided into six groups. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six groups. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Each of those groups, there are two in there. Okay, so 12 divided by six is two. I know that two times six is 12. So that goes with the 12 divided by 6. So other related facts to this would be 12 divided by 2. Okay, I take the, the 12 and I'm going to divide them into two equal groups. So here's two groups. So I'm going to keep going, just keep dividing them into these two equal groups. Okay, and when I'm done, I have two groups of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 12 divided into two groups would give me 6. I have two groups of 6, which is 6 times 2, which is 12. I'm going to do 24 divided by 3. Okay, so I'm going to take the 24, these 24 objects, I'm going to divide them into three equal groups. 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. And so 24 divided by 3 is 8. You also know that 3 groups of 8 equal 24. Okay, so you would already know that if I'm taking 24 and divide it into 3 groups, that I'm going to have 8 in each of those groups because of 3 times 8 equals 24. A related fact of 24 divided by 8, okay, I could take 8 equal groups. I can make eight groups, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups, 
a sub one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal groups of one, two, three. So 24 divided by eight, so I'm dividing into eight groups, is three in each of those groups. The related multiplication fact is eight times three. Okay, eight groups of three, so that is 24. Another set of related facts using these 24 objects is six times four. I can take 24 and divide it into six equal groups and give myself six groups. One, two, three, four, five, six groups, and I'm gonna go ahead and equally distribute. 24 divided by six, I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six equal groups, and each of those groups are four. So 24 divided by six is four, because in those six equal groups, I have four. Related fact is six times four. Okay, six groups of four, which is 24. Another way to divide these up, I could do 24 divided by four. Okay, I could get four equal groups. Distribute these around. Now I have four equal groups and I have two, four, six, two, four, six, two, four, six, two, four, six. I have four equal groups of six. So 24 divided by four is six. And this related multiplication fact is four times six equals 24. Because I have four groups of six. The division is just taking the multiplication fact that you've learned and dividing it into equal groups. And this method can be used with any set of multiplication facts that you have learned to your 10 times 10. Thank you for joining me in this video, and I hope that you learned something new. See you next time. Bye.